welcome everybody to witness the modernization of the city government for the year 2018. I request that you hold your applause after all the school committee and the councilors are up on stage. I hope you'll bear with me. She can tell them a little bit under the weather when we get through this. So without any further hesitation, I'd like to introduce uh, Timothy J. Cruz, Councilor of Ward 1. Thomas Moynihan, Councilor of Ward 2. <coughs> Dennis Gianneri, Councilor of Ward 3, Dean of Council. Susan Castro, Councilor of Ward 4. And Council of Ward 5. Jack Lally, Council of Ward 6. Shirley Azak, Council of Ward 7. Council of Lodge, Gene B. Duranacourt. Council of Lodge, Moise Rodriguez. Council of Winthrop H. Fowle, Jr., Council at Large. Outgoing President, Council of Robert F. Sullivan, Council at Large. School Committee, Thomas J. Minicello, Ward 1, Vice Chair. Ward 2, Lisa M. Plant. Ward 4, Brent Gormley. Ward 5, Judy Sullivan. Ward 6, Joyce Azak. Ward 7, Timothy J. Sullivan. Ladies and gentlemen, your counselors for the City of Brockton and your school committee for the years 2018 and 2019. Thank you all to rise and pledge the allegiance to the flag with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Would you please be seated. Honor God, would you retire the colors? Honor God. We have the election of the president pro temp. Nominations are now open. Mr. Clerk and Councilors, I hereby nominate Ward 3 Councilor Dennis Ian Airy. I second that. Make a motion to close nominations. Nominations have been <clears throat> uh, closed, properly, probably both, I'm sorry. Nominations made, properly seconded, and closed. Will the <clears throat> clerk please call the roll? Ward 3 Council, Dennis Ian Erie. Cruz. Dean of the Council, Dennis Ian Erie. Bradley Derringworth. Ward 3 Council, Dennis Ian Erie. Councilor Ian Erie. 
Councilor Ranieri. Farwell. <laughs> Councilor Dennis Ranieri. Lally. Councilor Dennis Ranieri. Monaghan. Councilor Dennis Ranieri. Castro. Councilor Dennis Ranieri. Rodriguez. Ward 3, Councilor Dennis Ranieri. Sullivan. Councilor Dennis Ranieri. That's 11 for Councilor Dennis Councilor Dennis Ianeri has been appointed as the Council President Pro Town. Good morning. First we're going to get organized my way. There we go. I do want to take time to uh, welcome all of you here this morning for the inauguration ceremonies for Mayor of the City of Brockton, members of the Brockton City Council, and the Brockton School Committee for our next term beginning 2018, which is today, January 1st. It's New Year's Day, but be it New Year's Day, we have to organize on the first Monday. That's the way government is set up, and that's why we're here um, today. And I'm happy to see that all of my colleagues and city council and school committee members, their eyes are bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Obviously, they stayed in last night. Well, I don't know about that. But in any case, um, we are ready to commence with what we have to do here today to uh, take the oaths of, uh, of office. So with that being said, I want to wish all of you a very healthy and happy, prosperous 2018. And let's uh, look forward to the year to be bright and cheery. And I know that it will. A lot of hurdles to, to cross, as we always do in every each, each and every year, but I'm sure that we'll, uh, we'll make it. So, with that being said, first order of business is for I to appoint uh, Councilors Rodriguez and Council Lally to examine the credentials of newly elected council and school committee members. So, adorn your credentials, please. Mr. President, I've examined, along with Council Lally, the uh, credentials of the City Council, and we seem to all be in order. Thank you very much. Accept that report and place it on the file. Thank you, Councilors. Mr. President, we have examined the uh, documents of the school committee members. These all seem to be in order as well. Very well. Place that in the file as well. Thank you, Councilors. Mr. Burke, you need these. It's like working in my kitchen cabinet at home. It's completely different. That's okay. We'll make do. Um, at this point in time, uh, those have been placed on file, so at this point in time, I'm going to uh, appoint uh, Council Monaghan and Council Azak to notify the mayor-elect that the city council has formed a temporary organization and they were ready for the administration of the oath of office and receive his inaugural address. At this time, we will take a quick recess.
Vamos con Luis Rendón, te voy a favor. Pleasure, pleasure. I'd like to introduce to you the mayor of the city of Rockford, Mayor Bill Cowan. Do solemnly swear that I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. To the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And will support the Constitution thereof. And will support the Constitution thereof. So help me God. So help me God. I. I, Bill Carpenter, do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear that I will faithfully and impartially. That I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform. Discharge and perform all the duties incumbent upon me. All the duties incumbent upon me as mayor to the city of Brockton. As mayor to the city of Brockton. According to my understanding. According to my understanding. Agreeably to the rules and regulations. Agreeably to the rules and regulations of the Commonwealth. Of the Commonwealth. And the ordinances of the City of Brockton. In the ordinances of the City of Brockton. So help me God. So help me God. I. I, Bill Carpenter, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. I just want to take a, a couple moments of uh, silence for some family members and relatives and friends or co-workers that uh, may have passed in this past year or two and are not here with us. So we can just, uh, just to take a couple of minutes of uh, a couple of moments of that again, a moment of silence.
Friedman is here. Also, his, uh, his wife, former uh, state representative Geraldine Friedman is here as well. Right. Also, just looking about, um, I don't know if there's any other county offices here. Um, I see county, oh, I'm sorry, state representative uh, Michelle Mubla. My apologies, Michelle. I didn't uh, notice your other. I also noticed uh, our superintendent of schools, Kevin Smith, is also present here. Somebody else? Yes. Okay. Uh, we also have uh, Mark, uh, Mark Lindy is uh, present from the Southeastern Regional Vocational Technical High School School Committee. And I also uh, understand the uh, Plymouth County District Attorney, Tim Cruz, is also present. So we appreciate um, all of you being here and being uh, present with us, uh, with us this morning. That being said, Councils, at this time, um, we're going to go on to the uh, um, swearing in and the oath of office to the members of the uh, uh, city council. So, uh, when your name is called by the clerk, please stand and say present, and we'll administer the oath of office, and then uh, you'll sign the uh, oath book as, as well. Mr. Clerk? Timothy J. Cruz? Present. Thomas D. Monahan? Present. Dennis R. Amieri? Present. Present. Shirley R. Asaf. Present. Our counselors at large, Jean Bradley Darrenport. Present. Winter H. Carl Jr. Present. Moses R. M. Rodriguez. Present. Robert F. Sullivan. Present. Ladies and gentlemen, raise your right hand. Insert your name after I and repeat after me. I. 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 Do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that, I that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. and will support the Constitution thereof. So help me God. I do solemnly swear that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform all the duties that come upon me. As a counselor to the city of Brockton, according to the best of my ability and understanding, agreeably to the rules and regulations of the Commonwealth, of the city of Brockton, so help me God. I do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen.
Thanks. <laughs> My dad gave me the name. Thank you. Congratulations. If you would right there, please. Thank you, Mr. Clerk, and congratulations to the members of the Brockton City Council for commencing their next term starting today, 2018. Congratulations. Congratulations. At this time, I'm going to ask everybody to please stand so that we can have a prayer by Pastor William E. Shelton of the Little Elevated Church. Please stand. All eyes closed, all heads bowed, all minds clear. Father God, we come before you on today on this great day that you have made for us to come into this wonderful occasion. God, look over our city as we have these new officials coming in and officials who are continuing their, uh, in, their, in their roles, Lord God, to continue to change our city of champions, Lord God. We pray that you just continue to look over us and help those who are in need as, our, as they take this office to go forward to help so many who may be uh, looking for ways and, and not sure what to do. We pray that God, you just continue to intervene in our city, continue to change families, change our communities, and change our city that we may be one that will be looked upon as one great, continue to rise up and be the city that you called us to be. So, God, I pray for each and every individual, God. I pray for our mayor that you continue to lift him up, continue to guide him and protect him and give him the direction he needs to take to help our city to all our counselors and counselors at large and our school city committee members, Lord God, that you continue to watch over them and to guide them that we may become and continue to be what you have called us to be. For, God, we can do nothing without you. So, God, we put everything into your hands and we thank you for this day, a day of celebration as our city continues to move forward to make changes in every area. We pray these things, and I pray in Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thank you. Uh, please be seated, everyone. At this time here, I'm going to have the clerk come up, and he's going to... Uh, Ask for the roll call for the members of the Brockton School Committee so that we can um, swear them in um, and then they will uh, sign the oath book as well. So, Mr. Clark, would you please come up so we can get ready to administer the oath of office to the school committee? Thomas J. Minicello? Present. Lisa M. Plant? Present. Brett Gormley? Present. Judy A. Sullivan? Present. Joyce J. Asap? Present. Timothy J. 
to raise your right hand and stretch your name after I and repeat after me. I solemnly swear that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and will support the Constitution thereof. So help me God. I do solemnly swear that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform all the duties that come upon me. As a member of the Brockton School Committee, according to the best of my ability and understanding, agreeably to the rules and regulations of the Commonwealth, and the audiences of the city of Brockton. So help me God. I will solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, uh, Mr. Clerk, and again, congratulations to the uh, members of the Brockton School Committee. Wish you uh, the very best of luck in your uh, term. Of life. This particular time, it's going to give me great pleasure to introduce to you for his uh, address, the Honorable Mayor of the City of Brockton, Mayor Bill Capica. Cheers for me every two years. That's great. 
was suggested to me that I hold the microphone so uh, everyone can hear me, so that's what I'm going to attempt to do. We'll see if we can make now. We'll try it this way. Good morning, everyone. City Council, members of the school committee, our state legislative delegation, Mr. Clerk, members of the clergy, colleagues, family, and friends. Welcome to today's inaugural ceremonies and Happy New Year. As we welcome back all seven members of the school committee who continue their service to the city, we acknowledge the departure of two city councilors and welcome their replacements. We thank Council of Law Shana Barnes for her two terms of service while remembering the historical significance of her election as the first African American woman to serve on the City Council. We also thank retiring Ward 4 City Councilor Paul Stadensky, not just for his work on the City Council, but for a lifetime of public service to the City of Brockton. I look forward to working with the two new councilors, Susan Castro of Ward 4 and Councilor at Large Jean Bradley to run in court the first ever Haitian American elected to Brockton City Council. <laughs> the number one priority of this administration has been and will always be public safety. We are arresting criminals and removing guns and drugs off of our streets at a rate that is simply unprecedented. Over the past two years, we have seized over 200 guns from our neighborhoods and have kicked in the doors of over 130 drug dealers, conducting raids and confiscating guns and drugs. Our commitment to increasing the number of officers in our police department and their close collaboration with state, county, and federal law enforcement agencies has made life very difficult for criminals to do business in our city. If you're dealing drugs or committing violent crimes here in the city, we have a simple message for you. It's time to leave. We know that a significant portion of our gun violence is related to drug dealing, and that most property crime is committed by individuals trying to support a drug habit. Any strategy to effectively reduce crime must address the underlying cause of drug addiction. In Brockton, we do have a strategy. The Champion Plan, our model of police-assisted recovery, offers any individual seeking treatment assistance simply by walking into the police station and asking for help. Since the inception of the Champion Plan 22 months ago, we have helped over 500 individuals and made 775 placements into addiction treatment. Not only is the Champion Plan saving lives, but it is changing the perceptions of both police and individuals struggling with addiction towards each other. The success of our champion plan is not going unnoticed, as we are receiving national recognition. Just a few weeks ago, I was invited by the Kennedy School of Government at Harvard University to present the champion plan to about 40 new mayors from across the country. Protecting the safety of all of our residents is more than just guns and drugs, though. Regrettably, in the year 2017, the city had seven homicides, four of which were cases of domestic violence. This is a much different fight. We are committing additional resources into both prevention and intervention in order to protect potential victims of domestic violence before an assault takes place. As part of this expanded commitment, we have just assigned an additional female police officer to our community policing unit. She will join Officer Fonts in promoting domestic violence and awareness throughout the community while also working one-on-one -on -one with victims. One week from today, our newest class of 15 police 
police officers will enter the academy. Eleven of them are here with us this morning, and I'd like to ask them to please stand up and be recognized. City contributes about 20%. And in fact, Broughton has exceeded its net school spending obligation in fiscal year 17 and is budgeted to do so again in fiscal year 18. The city is more than meeting its obligation to the schools. However, over the past several years, the state has failed to meet its obligation to Broughton. We will continue to send to the schools every available dollar that we can find. Tomorrow, I will file with the City Council a request for an appropriation of $386,000 for school transportation expenses in order to preserve the current number of school buses and the current student walk zones for the remainder of this school year. Additionally, I have approved a disbursement of $509,000 from the cable TV revolving account to replace the outdated sound and lighting systems at the Brockton High School Auditorium. These revolving account funds are not taxpayer dollars. They are revenues generated from the city's contract with Comcast. These two additional expenditures represent another $900,000 of funding for our school system. Today, we are working closely with our state legislative delegation to fight for every state education dollar possible for our students. This year, the City Council approved our request for $100,000 in the City Solicitor's budget so that we could go forward with an equity and education lawsuit to force the Commonwealth to properly fund the Boston Public Schools and the Simply, 
We must stop going back to the same residents and businesses for more and more money each year. Despite the challenges we face, we have a lot to look forward to in the coming months. On April 1st, we will roll out our new curbside trash and recycling program. While you'll be hearing the details over the next 90 days, I can tell you that our new system will include new carts with wheels and covers for both trash and recycling, as I'm sure you've seen in other communities. These carts will be provided. <laughs> These carts will be provided at no cost to our residents. We will be converting to single stream recycling, and most importantly, there will be no increase in the trash fee. So our new trash and recycling program will keep the city cleaner, encourage recycling, and spread costs more fairly with no increase in the trash fee. I'd like to thank Ward 7 City Councilor Shirley Asap for her participation representing the City Council on the Refuse Contract Review Committee. We will also see the installation of our new LED streetlights completed this spring. These LED lights shine 50% brighter and use less than half the electricity of the old streetlights. The energy savings alone will pay for the lights in just two and a half years while these light fixtures with smart technology come with a 10-year warranty. Currently, we have about 50% of the new LEDs installed, so if we've not made it to your street yet, we will be there very soon. With the council's support, we will move forward on the construction of the downtown parking garage, potentially breaking ground this summer. During the upcoming year, you should see two or three more buildings being demolished clearing the way for a new development downtown that will generate new tax revenues to the city. That is progress. Recent news events have raised all of our awareness with regards to sexual harassment in the workplace. At my request, our Director of Personnel has engaged All One Health, our Employee Assistant Program Administrator, to develop and implement sexual harassment training for all city employees. When I took office four years ago, the city had not held a real estate auction for five years. I appointed a real estate custodian tasked with evaluating the inventory of vacant properties and identifying those valuable for auction at no cost to the taxpayers. This program has been a huge success generating more than $2.8 million back to the city while stabilizing neighborhoods and bringing these non-performing properties back onto the city's tax rolls. However, I've listened carefully to the questions and concerns posed by some members of the city council. In the spirit of working collaboratively with the council, it is my intention to assign the duties of the real estate custodian to the city solicitor's office. I hope the City Council will view this decision as a sign of good faith on my part. We're committed to improving the quality of life in every neighborhood of our city. Every block, every street, every corner. Our new quality of life task force is positioned to respond immediately to issues that negatively impact our neighborhoods. Working with the National Resource Network, we plan to lift up and build on neighborhood strengths to help bridge the city's communications with its neighbors, as well as communications between neighbors. To this end, we are establishing new and strengthening existing neighborhood associations through resident leadership. In just a few days, we will join the New England Patriots as we cut the ribbon on our new playground at Kennedy Park. Through the generosity of the New England Patriots Foundation, the J. Lorenzo Company, and J. K. Homer Engineering, along with our commitment to the federal CDBG dollars, this quarter of a million dollar playground has been built with no local taxpayer money.
28 years ago, 16-year-old Jennifer Lynn Fay disappeared from the city's north side, never to be seen again. This spring, we will return to McKinley Park to dedicate the new playground in Jennifer's memory. I'd like to extend our thanks to the Parks Commission for approving the naming of the playground after Jennifer Lynn Fay, and also to Jennifer's mom, Dottie McLean, who now finally will have a place to be with her daughter. Air quality on the city's south side has been the subject of much discussion for years prior to my becoming mayor. I believe the residents of the city will be pleased to hear that we have notified the Mass DEP that effective today, we will begin shutting down the incinerator to the city's wastewater treatment plant. It will cease operation completely within 30 days. That incinerator, <laughs> I knew I could count on your support on that one, Michelle. <laughs> that incinerator that has been burning sludge from the sewer treatment plant 24 hours a day, seven days a week for decades, will no longer operate. Today is New Year's Day, so as we bring in the New Year, I do feel obligated to make a New Year's resolution. So I'm resolving to improve communication between my office and the City Council. Councilors, we don't always have to agree, but the residents of this city expect us to always work together for the betterment of the city. The most effective communication is two-way communication. Communicating is kind of like dancing. One looks pretty foolish doing it alone. I can't address councilors' concerns by reading about them in the newspaper. But councilors, give me a chance. I'm willing to work with you. <laughs> Towards that goal, I've already reached out to Council President Dianieri, and we have agreed to begin meeting weekly starting tomorrow. Henry Ford once said, if everyone is moving forward together, then success takes care of itself. Let's continue to keep Brockton moving forward together, then success will take care of itself. We know the challenges are many, but if we work together, we can get a lot accomplished. Let's get to work. Thank you. Happy New Year. City clerk, his staff, and all other people involved uh, in this past week, the last two weeks, uh, working with him through the city to make this day possible for us to be here um, in this building. And as everyone knows, we have a little hiccup with City Hall because of the elevator, and naturally we could not operate uh, this type of a program there because of that situation. And we're also displaced for a, a little while when this uh, elevator gets fixed. Which I'm sure it could be five or six months. We'll find that out a little bit better than that. That's on my agenda tomorrow, Mr. Mayor, so we'll talk about that. Uh, but in any case, um, and even through the mayor's office, every, everybody worked very hard and diligently to put this together, and it's not, it's not something that's just put together overnight. And, and I think the city clerk, again, deserves a well round of applause, him and his staff, for an outstanding <laughs> Said, I do want to call um, at this time. I'd like to call 
Father Joseph Ricky from uh, St. Edith Stein Church to come forward for a benediction. Father? Let us together pray. In the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the desire and the commitment on the parts of our school committee members, our counselors, and our mayor. We thank you for their desire to serve. You have given them that desire and you have given them abilities. We ask that you bless them so that they can use their abilities to benefit our city. We ask that you bless them. We ask that you bless all of their members of their families. We ask that you bless all those who serve this, this city, that you may bless them and protect them. May the Lord's blessing come upon you. May the Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May God's peace come upon you and upon our city. May God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. And I'd also like to thank Father Reiki and, and Pastor Shelton for being a part of our, our program here today. We appreciate it very, very much. Thank you. Um, next uh, is going to be um, going into a, a slight recess, but uh, we're going to have the conclusion of, of our program. And uh, once we return from the recess, then there will be the election of the uh, new city council uh, president by the city council. So. Uh, you, you can remain or, or you can leave. Hopefully you'll, you'll stay. We're not going to be here that much longer. But in any case, at this point in time, this, this part of the program has concluded. I want to thank everybody for being here today. It's been an outstanding morning. Appreciate it very much. And at this time, we're just going to go into a very brief recess. Thank you. If I could... Thank you all. At this particular time, after that recess, I'd like to like to call the meeting back into order. And at this time, I'm going to ask the clerk to, to come forward and uh, to take the meeting from uh, this point. Mr. Clerk. The nominations are now open for the election of the council president for the year 2018. Mr. Clerk, I'm honored to nominate Ward 3, Councilor Dennis Ianieri for president. I second that nomination. Make a motion to close the nomination, Mr. Clerk. Okay. Second. Okay. Councilor Fowl nominated Councilor Ianieri and is seconded by Councilor Sullivan. Councilor Cruz moves to close the nomination and is seconded by Councilor Monaghan. <clears throat> Councilor Ian Airy has been nominated and nominations have been properly closed. Will the clerk please call the roll? ASAC, the Dean of the Council, Dennis Ian Airy. Beauregard, the Dean of the Council, Dennis Ian Airy. Cruz? Former School Committee, Dennis Ian Airy. <laughs> Bradley Derrickwood? Former School Committee, Dennis Ian Airy. Uh, Ian Airy? Dennis Ian Airy. <laughs> Farwell? The Dean of the Council, Dennis Ian Airy. Lally. The Dean of the Council, Tennessee and Erie. Monaghan. Council of Tennessee and Erie. Castro. Ward 3, Council of Tennessee and Erie. Rodriguez. The longest serving city council, Council of Tennessee and Erie. Sullivan. Ward 3, Council of Tennessee and Erie. That's 11 for Tennessee and Erie. <clears throat> Please rise and see how they stand, huh? Yeah. Okay. Everybody rise? Just, yeah, just why don't you rise and respect to the new council president. <laughs> and of course myself. Our apologies. Our apologies. Thank you. Thank All you. right, you can Thank be you. seated. You would. And I'm going to call Councillor Sullivan, past president. Thank you, Mr. Clark. Thank you. To all my uh, colleagues here in the City Council, again, I, I appreciate your support in allowing me to be uh, able to serve as the Council President for the year 2018. 
as, uh, as I've served in this capacity uh, previous, I, I know what the job details, I know what I need to do, and I know how it will get done. And uh, I'm your leader, you work with me, I work with you, and I know you respect me the same way that I respect you. So with that being said, I look forward to a great year, I really do. We're gonna have a tremendous year, I really do. We're gonna do a lot of work. So again, I appreciate, appreciate your support this morning. Thank you. At this time, I do want uh, my fellow colleague, outgoing Council President uh, uh, Sullivan, to come up um, with me here. If you might, come a little closer. last year, which was a difficult year, a uh, very interesting year. It was an election year, we all got through it, we're all here. Um, great wonders to, to you and, and making everything work is, is the way I look at it. You did an outstanding job as our council president, as, uh, excuse me, as you did previous years as well. So it's on our behalf as the city council that I present you with this plaque. I think this might be the third hammer. It is, yes. Three kids, three hammers, <laughs> easy now. Um, but in any case, Councilor, we appreciate all that you've done in your service as City Council President for the year 2017 and continue to look forward to working with you through this next term as well. Congratulations, Mr. President. Service that really did good work in the city of Boston. We uh, were very fortunate to be led uh, by the new president elect, uh, Councilor Dennis Ianeri. This will be Dennis's third time as president. He has always served in the best interest and worked with his uh, fellow colleagues, all 11 of us. You know, we are a strong council under the former government, and I do really uh, look forward to working with both Gene and Susan. We have a really good mix of, of city councilors here, experienced. Uh, and dedicated people. So I want to thank you all again. Happy New Year. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, wish, I wish you and your family the very best too for 2018. Thank you. And I want to uh, take this um, a moment as well. I do want to uh, welcome aboard our new uh, colleague from Ward 4, Councilor Nicastro. Appreciate you being here. Join us. And our new colleague, it's going to be a wonderful turn, I'm sure, because Mr. Darren Cooper, we're appreciative to have you here, and I'm, I'm looking forward to working with you. So congratulations, and happy new year. I, too, as, uh, as the council president, do want to extend uh, uh, my very best wishes to uh, Councilor Studinsky for his many, many years of service. Um, we recognized uh, he and uh, outgoing Councilor Shana Barnes at our meeting last week. Um, both uh, did an omens job in the last few years because Councilor Stadinsky can't say enough about him. Known his family for years, his service to the city, uh, as a city employee, as a chief of police, um, as a councilor, done a, done a tremendous job. So we wish them the very, very best as, uh, as they go on and do something different uh, for the next few years. So, um, councilors, at this time, I'm just going to ask, I believe the clerk's near me, if uh, you want to read the. Um, okay, if you, have a, if you have a copy up here, or do I still. You've got it right here. He's going to read the, the list of uh, committees so that it's read out loud, and then uh, I'll just speak for a brief minute. Mr. Clark. Thank you. The Brockton City Council Committee for the year 2018. <clears throat> Finance Committee, all city councilors. Council President Dennis Ianeri, chair. The Council Committee, Shirley Azak, Chair, Ann Beauregard, Winthrop H. Fowle, Jr., John Lally, Susan DeCastro. Beautification Committee, Shirley Azak. Community Schools, Jean Bradley Durandacourt. Audience Committee, Robert Sullivan, Chair, Timothy Cruz, Winthrop Fowle, Jr., Thomas Monahan, Moses Rodriguez. 
Public Safety, Winthrop Fowler, Jr., Chair, Timothy Cruz, Thomas Monahan, Gene Bradley, Dinner Court, Moses Rodriguez. Real Estate Committee, Moses Rodriguez, Chair, Shirley Azak, Ann Beauregard, John Lally, and Susan DeCastro. Traffic Committee, Timothy Cruz, Thomas Monahan. Those are your committees for 2018. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. And I'm not going to uh, say much here today, Councils. It's, it's a little difficult because of, of the setup. I feel like I'm just missing the chalkboard and we could start to teach. But um, in any case, Monday's uh, meeting, I'm sure, will be a light meeting, so I'll have a few other comments to, to make there. Um, I do want to talk a little bit further about the assignments to the committees because I think the committees uh, as a whole, the last two years, have been very active, and I want to see them stay active. I want to see uh, everybody stay right involved with them and, and do what you have to do to, to especially your chair people, to make sure you call the, uh, the meetings to order um, at all times to work what has to be put before you. So, um, you know, with that being said, again, um, our next meeting will be Monday evening, January 8th. We are at the Brockton High School in the wrong little theater. Um, so we'll be there for some point in time for a while unless something was to change uh, the setup. But, and um, also just to let people know, because uh, let some of your constituents know, some people have had some concern to where the handicapped parking is. Handicapped parking is on the side of that fine arts building. And I will talk with um, Assistant to Superintendent Mike Thomas to make sure that the, uh, uh, there's nothing blocking there. I know they have the, the horses that they put there, but it needs to be opened up so people realize that. They don't realize that's where the elevator is. Some people don't know how to get in. So it's on that side. Uh, of the fine arts building, and um, you know, I just wanted to let people know that if they do wish to attend, and they have to use the, the handy uh, handicapped area. Uh, with that being said, councilors, I, I think it's been a very tremendous morning, uh, great ceremony, and I think at this point in time, uh, I don't know about you, but uh, I didn't have much to eat for <laughs> breakfast, so I'm feeling a little uh, little hungry. So that being said, um, we are resuming. Uh, you know, if we have our luncheon at the Charlie House down in. Uh, West Bridgewater, and um, they've welcomed us, and um, you know we want we want to be uh, be there and, uh, and and start to partake in, in the rest of the ceremony for today. So, with any other, I, I don't think there's anything else to be brought before this committee. Is there? Seeing none. Meeting. Motion. Yeah. To adjourn. Thank you.